My name is Charlie McGrath, I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network with a question, what is the most dangerous form of tyranny? If you ask me, the, na- the answer is soft tyranny. This is the tyranny we have here in the United States. You see, in a country like North Korea, the people understand. They speak out against their government. They are dead. That is hard tyranny. Here in the United States, we have soft tyranny. We have a populace that is complicit in sitting back, watching leadership, so-called leadership, write legislation and enact policy that takes their freedom and inevitably will end up from soft tyranny into a hard tyrannical state. I think it was important today that the ACLU stepped up and with a with 255 uh, public information requests in 23 states asked what kind of militarization of our local police is occurring. Now uh, Ali Baum is an advocate and also a strategist for the ACLU. She went on to say militarization of local police is a threat to every single American. We deserve to live without the worry of a militarized style intervention in our daily lives. This is 100% correct. We need to understand billions of rounds of ammunition, armored personnel carrier, uh, these uh, military style weapons that these police forces are uh, purchasing or being uh, encouraged to purchase by the federal government are being done so for a reason. It isn't to fight terror-loving terrorists. It isn't to keep us free from the boogeyman. It is inevitably to keep the people from uh, uh, looking for justice in a nation that has been broken and uh, destroyed by corruption. So what is the mainstream's response to the ACLU's request? Very, very simple. They ignore it. But in uh, in, in a counter move, they put out information such as the story that uh, was uh, run today in the Washington Times, a story how the drone industry could save economies in many states. In fact, it's saying that the drone industry is going to create 70,000 jobs and put 80 plus billion dollars uh, into the economy of the, uh, of the United States of America. Let's forget about the fact that the drone industry is funded by the American taxpayer. The drone industry, we're being sold as something that is for the American people, but in reality it is something that is going to be used against the American people. It's time to understand the difference between soft tyranny and hard tyranny. But truly, we need to understand soft tyranny always leads to hard, tyrannical rule. Stories are attached. That's all I got.